standing next to you, smoking. Smoking is not permitted out there on the Midway anywhere, especially not close to any of these aircraft that are here on display or other pieces of equipment that are here on display. So please, smoking is not permitted at all. No smoking out on the ramp. Thank you. There goes our C-23 Sherpa of the Rhode Island Army National Guard. Yep, the Green Suiters also have some airplanes to fly. Of course, they have the helicopters. And they have this utility transport aircraft, the C-23 Sherpa, built by Short Brothers in Dublin, Ireland, and it also has on board. Go straight overhead, you'll see the C-23 up there at 10,000 feet. <laughs> Jumpers are away, they came out as a mass, they're flying their bodies together, holding on to each other, now at a certain altitude they will track away from each other, they'll turn to separate away from each other so that they are not interfering with each other as they open their canopies. Okay, smoke coming from smoke grenades on the boots of the jumpers. It was way back in the late 1950s that people first were able to develop these techniques to fly their bodies toward each other and pass batons back and forth and do things like that. Here they come all the way down. There's one canopy. There's one, two, three, four, five canopies of the Black Daggers of the United States Army Special Operations Command. And now the Black Daggers are checking their equipment, making sure these canopies are okay, making their new lots, making uh, sure that they're going to get to be where they want to be. They're watching, they're looking down across their feet. They're watching their track across the ground as the wind moves them toward the target area. That's why they dropped those wind drift indicators so that they can tell where the wind was coming from so they can use it to drive them toward the target area. Even though these parachute canopies have a forward speed of about 22 miles an hour all by themselves. Now you'll notice if you're looking through some binoculars that their hands are up around their shoulders. They're holding on to these steering lines that are attached to the canopy. They'll actually change the shape of the canopy to make it turn to the left or turn to the right. You just saw a very steep turn, a hook turn. There's another one. So if they lose a lot of altitude very quickly without losing, moving across the ground very much, they'll pull that steering line all the way down by their side and that gives them that very, very steep turn. As they set up for the landing, which is going to be in a direction into the wind so that their speed across the ground is minimized, you'll see their hands come down from their shoulders equally, down to their sides, pulling down on the steering lines that actually change the shape of the trailing edge of the canopy to flare it out and slow down that rate of descent, actually very much like flying the wing of an airplane. And with this little bit of wind that we have today, you may even see the jumper rise up about a foot or two just before touchdown. So here comes the final turn into the wind. Our first jumper, Sergeant First Class David Rose, a Special Forces Weapons Sergeant from Midland, Texas, with 1,007 free fall parachute jumps. Here comes both hands down, here comes the brakes, and on he goes for a perfect landing. Our second jumper, Staff Sergeant Dewey Vinaya, a parachute maintenance technician from Alexandria, Virginia, with 3,152 free fall parachute jumps. Number three is Sergeant Major Abe Sanchez, a Special Forces Communications Sergeant from Burbank, California, with 3,572 free fall parachute jumps. Number four, just about to make his final turn, is Sergeant Tony Galusha, a parachute maintenance technician from Lodi, California, with 2,198 free fall parachute jumps. And number five, bringing in the POW MIA flag, is Sergeant Jason Spinecchia, a Special Forces Medical Sergeant from Sayville, Long Island. I know he has family here today, so Dad, this one is for you, right on target! Jason, what a beautiful jump and a beautiful time.